good luck with that. Hope it works out. People often say that to me when I'm about to try something new, and I find myself instinctively saying some version of that phrase. I just blurt out the words, good luck, or something like that, and uh, what do I mean when I say that? Well, almost nothing. It's just a meaningless pleasantry. It conveys friendliness. It's polite. It's a social convention. But I'd like to think about this social convention and see if there's some meaning behind it. You know, good luck with that. Hope it works out. There are actually uh, two elements of the phrase that I think of that are actually rather peculiar, luck and hope. I don't think these two ideas really fit into our modern world, and let me tell you why. I'm going to make the claim that our modern world is, in its outlook, pervasively secular, naturalistic, materialistic, and uh, anti-supernatural. In other words, we are thoroughly scientific and naturalistic in the way we understand the workings of the world. Everything has a natural cause. And as Christians, we're outliers. We, live, we believe in the supernatural. We believe in a God that controls the world and even intervenes in our lives. But more on that later. But the modern and intellectually sophisticated people believe that this world is nothing but molecules, chemistry, material, forces like gravity. Now, we can understand these forces. They're regular, predictable, and they're natural. That's all there is. And we, we are meat. Our thoughts can be reduced to neuroscience. So why do modern people so flippantly use phrases like luck and hope? Well, because this modern world is actually very modern, meaning it's very recent. For the vast majority of human history, people believe that God or gods or supernatural forces affected our lives. And words like luck and hope pepper our language like the crumbling archaeological remains of an ancient world that is gone and dead. But the ruins still hang around. Think about the modern city of Rome. It's a modern city. Cars, cars drive around the ruins of the Colosseum. I mean, no more gladiator fights. But the remains of the Colosseum are still there. And cars drive around it. Luck or fortune... The ancient Romans believed that the goddess Fortuna would hand out luck to people. Some people got good luck. Some people got stuck with bad luck. Meaning it didn't really matter how hard you worked, how smart you were, or how virtuous you were. Depending on what Fortuna gave you, you tended to succeed or you tended to fail. Depending on your luck or your fortune. So when someone says good luck, it actually harkens back to a time when you were about to go on a long journey. And your friend says to you, well, I hope Fortuna gives you good luck. Who knows? It's out of your hands. And words like luck or good fortune are just leftover ideas. Words from a long gone, long dead past. Remnants in our language and thoughts. Like the Colosseum. Not really functional anymore, but just kind of there as remainders of a world that we don't use anymore. Or not. Maybe there's a reason why we still hold on to these words in a modern language. Modern people believe in control, competence, and mastery. Because we believe that if you, are, if you prepare, study, work hard, or you're good, you can master your life, our environment, and the future. We've got this, right? Actually, no. If you live long enough, you realize that there's a lot beyond your control, and the world seems almost random at times. In fact, our lives are subject to variables that are completely beyond us, beyond our competence, beyond our control. I know a lot of smart and diligent people who are very, very successful. You know, they've earned what they've, their success. And I know a lot of smart and diligent people who are, well, not successful. They have not done well in life. But it's not for lack of intelligence. It's not lack, for lack of trying or planning. I think we're inclined to find causality and attribute some sort of rationality to it. But in reality, from my perspective, a lot of it seems random. And, and, really, and that, that's really frightening. So I wonder, when modern people say, good luck, is there some part of them that hopes that there's some force behind it all? We live in a scary, random world, but they're hoping that there's some meaning behind it all. Some force or some person that they can appeal to that will grant good luck. Something that is meaningful. Is it, a, is it a wish that there is some meaning or purpose behind what appears to be random? What is the alternative? 
this modern scientific world. It, it might be too hard to deal with. So I think that modern people hold on to ancient ideas of luck, fortune, and hope. It doesn't really make sense, but we hold on to these ideas. Christians don't believe in fortune or luck. We believe in providence. Well, what does that word mean? Well, it means that God controls everything. And God is aware of every aspect of creation. And nothing escapes his care or attention. And God coordinates everything towards the good. And he does this with wisdom and love. So things happen in our lives that are beyond our competency or mastery. And it seems random to us. But it's not. There's meaning behind it all. There's purpose behind it all. And the meaning is the love and wisdom of God. And when we use the word hope, it's not wishful thinking. It's not the dead remnants of a past, a dead and primitive world that we've long left behind but still hold on to the bones because we just can't let them go. We hope in a real and living God who controls reality. And in the end, he will make all things right. And that is our real living hope.